Hi, I am Roshan Karyapa. I have spent the last 12 years at early stage startups, working in sales, product, marketing, and whatever other roles or functions that could move the needle. I've done the zero to one journey multiple times, and I've kind of realized it's a specialized skill. The startup operator is where I share my observations of executing in a startup. If you're working in a fast-growing startup, you'll hear things that may sound familiar and help you validate your own hypothesis of the way things are. In today's episode, I'm going to talk to you about how you can make interactions with your founders more effective. Now, a founder's time is limited. He or she has multiple things on top of their head, and it's really incumbent on you to make the most of whatever little time you get. Here are four things you should stop doing right away. Number one, posing problems. See, the reason they hired you is so that you could solve their problems, not really throw more problems back to them. Always suggest a possible solution. Maybe have a couple of options handy, or at the very least, help them think about the problem clearly. And that really saves a lot of time and effort on their part to kind of align with you. Speaking of alignment, number two, not defining an agenda. What is it that you want to achieve from this email, meeting, or even a conversation? State that upfront so they understand what they're getting into without having to second guess halfway through the conversation and really reorient themselves to the situation. Because as I've mentioned, they have 101 things on top of their head and it's very, very difficult if it's not obvious for them to kind of connect what you're really getting at. So make it simple, make it obvious and define an agenda. Number three, forcing follow-ups. If you're any good of an operator, you know that you shouldn't do this at all. If you've been assigned a task, then give timely updates without having someone to follow up on it. Because as I mentioned, they have plenty to do besides reminding you. And most importantly, they might have planned something on the basis of your delivery. It's just not a very nice thing to have them follow up on you on things that they already expect. Number four, escalating everything. Now, from your perspective, what you're doing is really, really important, but you have to take a step back and think about it from a leadership perspective. Whatever it is you're doing, marketing, engineering, product, et cetera, is important, no doubt, but it's still one cog of the business and there's really four, five, six functions that they really have to think about. So understand that for every rung upwards towards your founder, that is, there is at least an order of magnitude shift in priorities. And more so as it gets function agnostic, as you approach someone like a CEO or a founder, it's your boss's job to worry about things. But if you could mitigate some degree of it, then he or she will be eternally grateful for it. So to summarize again, don't pose problems, define an agenda, don't let people follow up on you, and do not escalate everything to your founders. So get your shit in order and be one less thing to worry about, period. If you like bite-sized wisdom about operating at startups, subscribe to the Startup Operator and share it with other operators you know. The podcast is available on all popular platforms like Anchor, Spotify, Google Podcasts, and Apple Podcasts. Until next time, put your head down and execute hard. Cheers.